Okay, this is a 1955 DeSoto Fire Dome with the Hemi. And this is the Hemi engine purring away. Again, this is another car that hasn't started in a month. Started right up. And he's done a lot of work for the car. Okay, he's done an awful lot of work for this car. And what I'm going to do is I will put down in the description, you'll see everything this gentleman has put in the car. But it's a straight car. It's all original. Again, this is the kind of a car that you can actually buff this thing up. This does this car would not need a paint job. It's got, you know, it's got it's got some age on it, but that's a beautiful part of that. You know, that's what we like now. You know, like the trunk has got a little bit of patina, a little little rust, which is fine. I mean it's it just adds character to the vehicle. And these Mopars, these are just absolutely bulletproof drivetrains. Just bulletproof cars. I mean, Chrysler was so far ahead of the curve all the way through engineering wise. Um, these cars drive absolutely beautifully. They, they, they just are just glide down the road. They're very, very quick too with this Hemi in it. The Hemi is putting out, I think, 180 horsepower in this car. I think that about 180 Hemi, isn't it? 180 horsepower in this thing? Yeah. About 180. And um, <clears throat> again, this gentleman is a real collector and he drives his cars. And this guy, these are not garage queens. None of his cars are garage queens. He actually drives them. And the, the guy he bought the car from already recovered the seats in the front. Okay, and you look at the dash. Dash is in good shape. Again, uh, what is it, 68,000, 66,000 miles, that's nothing. But you look at this, what a good looking car. Uh, this is, um, I think this is one of the first cars that Virgil designed. I'm not sure, but I think this is, one, this is a 55, first year that, um, I think this is the first car that Virgil designed. I'm not sure. You know, he had the forward look cars. And I think this is the beginning of the forward look. I think uh, 55, 56, he had a little bit of tail fins on it. But this is a solid car. He had great radial tires on it. Every car this gentleman owns right now, he put nice radial tires on every single one of them. So this is another, I call it a diamond in the rough. I mean, where the hell are you gonna find these things? Where are you gonna find a car in this kind of condition that you can get into the hobby in, in a relatively inexpensive way. And you can have a car that's actually dependable and you can drive it and you can take your family out in it. Cars and coffee, this thing will be a big hit. So there you go. And I will give more information about the car, but if you're looking for a nice entry level, especially, or just a classic, this is it.